Today we are celebrating a very special day to us, uh, the International Day for Intersex Persons. Uh, today's theme is uh, we are fearfully and wonderfully made. It, this means that all humans are fearfully and wonderfully made and we need to embrace each other. Intersex persons face a lot of challenges in the community. First, people do not recognize their existence and we need to bring to the attention of the community that intersex persons exist and they live with us. As a children's officer, our role is to do child protection and that is basically we concentrate on ch intersex children. Intersex children face a lot of challenges because we find that some parents do not embrace intersex children. So our role is also to talk to parents to ensure that they embrace children who are born as intersex. In schools we also find that these children go through a lot of discrimination and we find that some of them even opt to drop out of school because of these challenges. Uh, we want to encourage people to embrace uh, intersex children and also teachers should be uh, should be empowered so that they can know how to deal with intersex children wherever they are in school. We are here to advocate for recognition of an intersex person, also for proper documentation, in the government way. We are also advocating for protection so that intersex persons be protected in whatever way, especially children, so that they don't go under early uh, IGM. IGM is intersex genital mutilation. Yeah, we are also advocating for inclu inclusivity in everywhere, in jobs, in um, schools, hospitals, killer mahali. There is a challenge. We have a case of a parent who is inside here, uh, who was uh, really pushing for uh, the, the corrective surgery. They child is not yet 18 years and uh, we are managing to uh, explain the reason why they should wait. So we handle what can be there for a child, the child to go to school just like any other child and maybe those to talk to a child uh, for psychosocial support so that the child understands the reason why uh, she no longer puts on dress but has to put on like a man in quotes, or a boy. As an organization, we have, uh, we have a list of 400, 401. Unlike the census 2019, uh, that was uh, 35. It's because actually uh, from last year, last year we had uh, 300 and something. Uh, last year there's such time, there are a lot of people who came out. So uh, more advocacy brings more people on board. So we, we are reached out, because we also do radio advocacies, so sometimes we give out our contacts. Yeah. All as a church, we embrace, we embrace it, and uh, we don't have any discrimination over them. We love them, and we care for them. If at all they come to us, we esteem them first, and we value them. Um... We are glad that the, the clergy has taken these positive, uh, positively and showed love to the intersex persons. We brought this celebration into church for the purpose of inclus worship inclusivity. Um, having, uh, having understood that intersex person gets challenges um, in, in terms of worship, um, worship stigma and worship exclusion, together with, um, um, together with number of challenges they are facing, one of the things that we wanted to do as an organization is to, um, to, re to cut off the worship, um, worship discrimination by bringing the, this celebration into church and ensure that church gets to understand that we are all human beings created by uh, created of image of him and wonderfully and beautifully made uh, by the Lord. So um, I'm grateful and um, I echo the religious leaders of Migori for the good work they've done today. Thank you.